First of all, let's quickly consider what are the things that we are discussed in the previous lesson. At first, we discussed about the part of the .NET Framework 3.0 and 3.5, and also what are the features, what are the supporting elements, supporting environments, and so on. Then we quickly went through the available different .NET Frameworks and briefly discussed what are the improvements. Then we give introduction in detail about the Windows Presentation Foundation and what are the new features included. As the next stop, we were discussed in detail about how the WPF application provides much better designer, developer, friendly development environment over the Windows Forms applications. Within this second tutorial regarding the WPF applications, we'd like to consider what are the new features in Windows Presentation Foundation 3.5. The new WPF 3.5 has forward and backward compatibility. That means an application built with WPF 3.0 will run on WPF 3.5 runtime and an application built with WPF 3.5 will execute on the 3.0 runtime. If the application only uses the features that are available in WPF 3.0, several improvements also have been added to the application model. One of them is comprehensive add-in support for supporting non-visual and visual add-ins from standalone applications and XAML browser applications, also known as XBAP. Also. The new WPF 3.5 adds support for the scripts such as Bengali, Devanagari, Gujarati, Gurmukhi, Kannada, Malayalam, Oriya, Tamil, Telugu. And also, you now have the ability to cache images that are downloaded over HTTP to the local Microsoft Internet Explorer temporary file cache. So that subsequent requests for the image come from the local disk rather than Internet. Depending on the size of your images, it can be a significant network performance improvement. And also, XBAPs can now run in Firefox. Also, the cookies can be shared between XBAPs and web applications from the same site of origin. The improved XAML IntelliSense experience provides a higher productivity. Another new improvement is the expanded localization support. An extensible application exposes functionality in a way that allows other applications to integrate with and extend its functionality. Add-ins are one common way for applications to expose their extensibility. In the .NET framework, an add-in is typically an assembly that is packaged as a dynamic link library that means .dll. The add-in is dynamically loaded by a host applications at runtime to use and extend services exposed by the host. The host and the add-in interact with each other through a well-known contract which typically is a common interface that is published by the local application. Once an application support add-ins, first-party and third-party developers can create add-ins for it. There are many examples of these types of applications, including Office, Visual Studio, and Microsoft Windows Media Player. For example, the add-in support for Microsoft Windows Media Player allows third parties to create DVD and decoders and MP3 encoders. The .NET framework implements the building blocks for allowing applications to support add-ins. However, the time and complexity that is required to build that support can be expensive, considering that a robust add-in design needs to handle several things.